Allah on one hand, you know, Yudillu Meyasha, or Yuizu Meyasha, he's the one who, you know, guides and misguides, he honors and dishonors. So, like, on one hand, it seems like Allah is the one that's deciding. On the other hand, you have free will. And this is something that confused a lot of Muslims. Like, a lot, a lot of Muslims get confused by this because I, I don't think you can rationally, like, solve this thing. It, it is a contradiction. Yeah. From my perspective, what I would say, what I would just add to that is that if free will is like, why is free will such a good thing that you would? OK, so according to Islamic theology, Allah decided it's it's so important that it's worth sending people to hell. If you were creating like a race of robots or something, right, and you're going to condemn them to eternal suffering, like you have a virus that you inject in the consciousness that makes them suffer, whatever suffering means to them. Like, is that worth, how is that worth it on the grand scale of things that, and, and we're talking about eternal suffering. So if you, any calculation you do, you know, the majority going to hell, you are a cruel, evil, nasty monster for doing this because you are sending more people to eternal suffering. So on, on the whole, you are, you are, you're like a nasty piece of shit because why would you do that? What, why is like in, if you ask me is free will, would I rather just not have free will rather than potentially going to hell i would say like what's the point of it like why like, it's it's unjust to do that it's completely immoral to allow such a thing you know so here, here, you, you, have have this, here you have this thing uh I, I thought about that so often like um to make it very simple to look at you just have uh this this is the creation this is a path that splits in two you are a human created and you are right here at this point right now uh, think about it. Allah creates you. Allah is all-knowing, almighty, and he is good, the highest good there is. Allah creates you, and before he even created you, before he planned anything, before he even intended to create you, he knew exactly, because he is all-knowing and almighty, that if he did create you, you would eventually use your free will in the wrong way and end up going to hell where he would punish you forever because you misused your free will. You used your free will in the wrong way. Despite that, he did create you and put you here. And as a result of him creating you, as a result of him creating uh, the world, the life, the hell, the punishment and creating you, he condemned you to eternal hellfire forever. Now, you can argue that you have free will, supposedly. That is the teaching. You have free will and Allah gave you free will. He gave you the free will to choose. But it does not matter. You can always go back again and say, okay, you have free will, but Allah knew exactly what you would do with that free will if he did design you if he did go ahead and create you he knew exactly that you would misuse that free will and take the left path and go to hell and go and burn there forever and you, you can again say but yeah he gave you free will well okay yes he did but he knew exactly that if he gave you free will you would eventually use that free will in the wrong way and go to hell so and 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 uh, this is just one example you have to think if Allah creates life and death, the test and the afterlife and hell, then it is inevitable that millions, billions of humans will be subjected to this and will take the wrong path because of their free will, which Allah created knowingly and will go to hell and burn there forever. So Allah knowingly and willingly created an entire uh, species, an entire, he created billions of people so they burn in hell forever just so he could also create some people who would worship him forever think about the absurdity of that think about how messed up that is for a second